The health care provided by the ministry includes basic medical assistance, aid with hospitalization, labs and medicine, and training village health workers. We also help those who qualify to apply for free government health programs for diseases like tuberculosis. Lack of personnel currently limits our educational efforts. However, we do help families get the documents, clothing, and school supplies necessary for their children to attend school. Many IRA still only speak the IRA language, not Spanish. There is an urgent need for someone to work with a few IRA teachers to help them become effective in bilingual education. Most of the native teachers have less than a fourth grade education and have only meager resources. Community development, which includes teaching the dignity of work, is our third goal. We encourage the women to spend more time making their beautiful, traditional, hand-woven purses instead of resorting to prostitution or begging. We purchase these bags to offer for sale at our ministry office. We also encourage visitors to the villages to buy these true souvenirs of Bolivia. This is a first step toward finding productive ways for IRA families to support themselves. We've also been promoting agricultural projects. Several different agricultural projects have been successful but still require guidance and oversight from mission personnel. South America Mission continues to provide seed and basic assistance for those who prepare ground by themselves and truly want to provide for their families. We hope to partner with other missions in developing a sustainable project to make the best use of the natural resources available to the IRA on their own lands. In order to see this part of the vision fulfilled, we need people with skills in natural resources and environmental science. God has again opened a door to South America Mission to make His glory known among the IRA. Please pray for the IRA team the Mercados, Bev Smith, Allison Hershey, Dr. Sandra Haldine, Dr. Carmen Mercado, Benny L. and Leoncia Ayure, and the many others who feel called to give of their time and resources to serve these, the poorest of the poor. Pray, too, that God will raise up the people and the financial backing to keep this ministry alive. And after you pray, we hope that you will commit yourselves to keep on praying for and giving to this ministry, for a people despised and rejected by men, but loved by God. The IRA of Bolivia. Mm -hmm.